All right, you possibly paused it, or you're watching the second video in this series. This is part two. This is just where we solve the one problem that you might want to have tried yourself. That's up to you. This is not like compulsory. So unless you're in my class and I'm watch, I'm doing this video while I'm sitting there with you, which would make it compulsory, I suppose. First step, of course, is draw the line, and we're doing that. Draw the line. We did it. The second step is baby goes bathroom. I hope that you are not tempted to add 5 and 7 together to make 12 because that's not the step. You have to do baby goes bathroom. I got to pee. I got to pee. That has to happen first. 7 times R. And that's 7 times 1 R in case you didn't remember. So 7 times 1 is 7. 7 times positive 4 is 28. Now I'm ready to see if I need to clean my room. And the fact that there are three terms here make me think that, yeah, I probably do. So I'm going to mark things up. If they've got one to the first power, that's the same variable, I'm going to make one line. Here's my skin team. They're not marked, but being not marked together is what defines them, or what unites them, I should say. So I get 7R, bringing that down, and this plus this, you'd have 33. By the way, they're on the same side of the line, so I just added them because it said to add them. Don't do fancy things if it's on the same side. Now we're, of course, at parties over. Right there, step five. Um, I'm R. I'm R, that's weird. Um, so seven is next to me, it's my friend. This plus 33 is not, it's minus. I mean, I'm getting rid of it by subtracting because 33 minus 33 is zero. Then I get 7R by itself. I have to do 89 minus 33, which is 56. And I'm at finish him. Divide by 7. R equals 56 divided by 7 is 8. Right there. There's your final answer.